I had finally gotten to monkey retirement. After years of hard, hard work in the corporate monkey world, I finally escaped, bought myself a nice plot of land, built a little farmhouse even, with some chickens, different plants around the lawn. Oh, it was beautiful. Fenced in yard as well. I mean, no one was bothering me. This is a peaceful spot. And as I was sitting on my couch one night watching TV, I saw that there was a zombie apocalypse going on. Oh no, you know, you hate when that happens. But the zombies weren't regular zombies. No, 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 they had like balloon heads. It's always gotta be something stupid like this in the monkey world. Oh my goodness. So I knew I had to get prepared and get my armada of weapons ready so that when these zombie balloons came to my place, oh, they weren't getting by. No way, Jose. So here we are, we got Power Dino's map, and this looks like a Plants vs. Zombie map. Like, it just has to be, right? You're not an intellectual, you're a fake and a fraud. And so as you can see, the balloons, the zombie balloons, they pull through the map and they exit here at the house, the little barn. And this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I believe over in the trophy shop here, there was a limited edition, like, zombie balloon or something, but guess not anymore. Wait, what's this? Moe be? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Well, I'm poor in trophies, so, uh, <laughs> we can't afford that right now. You're wrong! For hero, I'm gonna go Etienne, the bookworm. Of course we go hard and, well, let's get into this, guys. All right, well, I think the first order of business is plop down at the end, uh, right here. How about that? Sounds fun. And then our free dart monkey, like right here. <laughs> Starting out on this map, you're like, oh, not a big deal. Okay, well, maybe you're seeing it's a little bit of a big deal. <laughs> and we'll probably need to get something like a sniper, thin the waves a little bit early on. But this is manageable for the moment. But these are red balloons. That's the issue. That's why it's manageable. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure the plan yet. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out something crazy and steamy if we want any chance of beating these later rounds. I think a sniper off the gate is gonna be phenomenal. Maybe even just all three. But the problem is, there's so many problems. <laughs> Here's another great one if you didn't think we could have more. We're gonna need a ton of money to do stuff. Like if we want to get all the snipers, and want to get some other crazy towers as well. We need money and a lot of it. But uh, here's the big problem. Where do we put money? N nowhere. I don't know. <laughs> There's nowhere to put money. Okay, hear me out. Crazy strategy. What if we get like a druid, spirit of the forest, right? Make us tons of money with jungle's bounty. Then we also instead pick up a sniper with middle path. Wait, look at this. We actually can't even fit farms. Wait, can you not fit a single farm in this map? Oh my goodness. It appears we do need to go to our superior plan. First thing we can do, simple, balloon trap. We're going to need it. You know it, you'll love it. We're going to put it on the top track here where this guy, Etienne, isn't really hitting stuff. Oh, and of course the camels come in. And, oh my goodness, chaos ensues. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we literally keep spamming the Etienne ability. This is awful. Oh my goodness. This might be a much harder map than I uh, could have predicted. On a positive note, look at that, 69 lives. That's that's fun. That's you know, you gotta look for the silver lining. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Give me the Etienne ability, please. Oh, 22 lives is not good. Oh no. Um, okay, new idea. Uh, I want the balloon trap so bad, but we can't. We need this. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, I started to go this path on this guy, which is like I realized after I wanted the middle path for the juicy elite sniper but that that's okay you know all, everything helps in this kind of a scenario and hopefully me greeting here for money and damage tower doesn't bite us in the butt too hard because we are getting our mana shield lives back which is good uh but of course we don't want to lose but of course we also don't want to stall the game and have no money <laughs> but with this trap here i lost wait wait a minute okay we got to redo this etienne might not be the man for the challenge I genuinely am trying to figure out who would be a good hero here for the early game, because that's all we need. Do we use Quincy, perhaps? Quincy, son of Quincy? I think we might. I think there's something here. Something to be said about that. And then we'll still use our free little dart monkey. And then let's get a tech bot hiding back here and link it to Quincy. And we'll do a set ambush, like, pretty much on top of him, right? If these balloons start to get past that point, then Quincy will just go, yaya. Yeah, yeah. 
Because I, I can't be bothered to be sitting here and, and managing that. We'll get our engineer. And now this will just be a way more efficient start. The first one was just a test. Test the water. See what we're working with. You know how it is. But now it's go time. Game face, everybody. This is big brain time. And this also means we're going to be way ahead of schedule with all of our money-making towers. Oh, yeah. Look at this. And we have leaked, like, nothing. This is phenomenal. <laughs> and then still, Quincy's going to be covering all these tracks. Boom. Balloon trap at the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's our cheapest money-making option at the moment. Oh, my goodness. No banana farm. <laughs> but you know what we can get? A dancing banana monkey. Oh, yeah. He can collect the supply drop from the elite sniper. Oh, dude, a spike factory might be insane. I'm going to be honest. Wait, we can surely fit a hut. Oh, we can. Okay. However, if we can greed for this balloon trap here, I mean, we need something getting us income. That's for sure. Okay, quickly. Quickly. Okay. Now we are losing lives like nobody's business. Uh, let's get another dart monkey down. How about that? And I think we might just spam like a few dart monkeys. Oh, yes. Yes, go, little monkeys, go. Oh, my goodness. Who said leads could come to the shenanigans party? Oh, this is awful. I'm not prepared. New plan. Um, sell that, and then we can get full metal jacket, I suppose. Now, we have to figure out where we're going to go from here. Um, a druid is going to be somewhere on the agenda. Oh, my goodness. The um, bottom path will probably be more helpful with his attack speed and then range for now, even though we're going into the fifth path. I think that's probably the move. Can we survive with 38 lives left? Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so many balloons. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad, guys. I legit have to upgrade our little, little dart monkeys or else we're going to lose. We got $3,600. Can we buy both? Um, I suppose we can try a brew. I, I don't know. If, I don't think this is going to work, but we can give it a try. Most certainly not. Okay. I mean, can we get Moab Shred? No, we can't even afford that. Oh, that's so awful. Wait, I have an idea. What if we do get Moab Shred and then we sell our little monkeys, right? Yeah, we have Moab Shred now. But will it be enough? Oh, no. But it's kind of kind of close. Maybe we set it further back? Because then it, like, stacks more. No, no chance. Okay, new new plan. Sell this, sell this. Sell Balloon Trap, because it's not even doing anything for us this round anyway. Grab that, then we can grab the big ones. And then... A brew? Perhaps. Aww. So we're going to grab this, sell all these guys, and then we go close, and then we grab a brew. Bam. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, he's absolutely pumping them spikes. Oh, it's so close. What if I sell, like, everything? How about that? Crazy idea. So we go this. I think I'm down for that. And then we go close here again. I think we have to go Deadly Precision and then sell that guy. Then we get a brew. Oh, why are you... Why? Why are you putting the spikes there? Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be because you are dirt! Welcome to the fail montage. We're placing him down the right spot. We got the Deadly Precision. This thing should pop almost before it gets the spikes. Can I live that, though? Oh, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I do. Hey, what do you know? Okay, new plan. We get a plane. Never miss. Rapid fire. Uh, get a little brew. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have found freedom. <laughs> Quickly, though, we need to get camo detect because we got to keep in mind we have zero camo detect. Oh, my goodness, as those guys come in. Okay, what if we get a dartling gunner here? Yes, I'm aiming. Oh, no. Okay, perhaps we get a ninja. <laughs> Seeking shuriken, I choose you. Oh, that's a ceramic. Oh, no. Um, okay. Sell the brew boy. Sell the plane. Grab the plane again. Because we have to have that top hat. There's just no way around it. And then we can grab camo here. And then perhaps... Okay, perhaps not. Okay, are there any camos even this round? Like, there might not be. Like, I, I might be able to just do this. And then we grab the brew again, right? Hey, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's a Christmas miracle. Okay, another round completed. Excellent. Now, hopefully we can grab camo tech before, uh, you know, bad things happen. Okay, now we get a sniper back down. Okay, now I don't want to say we're in the clear now. 
but uh, we're certainly making good progress. I need this deadly precision. And then this guy's absolutely going to toast all the big balloons. And then our plane takes everything else down. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Deadly precision. And we'll just keep that guy there for now. Okay, next step. Let's get some jungly drummies. Attack speed. Good, good, good. Then we can start getting these guys back down again. <laughs> okay, boom. Okay. Why does it always have to be a Moab? Okay, perfect. Then we'll get our silly little guy here again. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Try not to hyperventilate challenge. Okay, if we can pick up the balloon trap here, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be down. I'd be down. Okay, then put the balloon trap there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I like what I'm seeing. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need a stronger stimmy now. That's the next thing. Oh my goodness, because these regular mobs are there. Oh, look, you can click the mushrooms. That's fun. Okay, stronger stim. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, spike factory. Put it in range of these things just because, like, it's going to be the middle path anyway, so why not? This is so intense. We're going to go top path on this one. And then somehow save enough money for mob shred. The interesting thing is there's like, there's space in here where you still auto, like you don't lose once they get right into this, uh, you know, barn. But boy, oh boy, is it very hard to tell. Oh, because round 60, Larry, not the guy you want to see here, especially in the top path. Oh my goodness, that is not the thing you want to see. Is there any way we can sell everything and get the Spectre? <laughs> so it appears I can buy the Spectre. And I have sold everything on the map. All right, good news. We have some money so we can buy like a brew. That'll be really important. And uh, let's see what happens. Oh, easy clap. Oh, baby. Now we just need to get camo detect before camos come in. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Please. Oh, my goodness, we did it. I I'm feeling, uh, I'm not going to say good, but I'm feeling uh, much better. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I'm terrified. We'll get the stronger stim here. Oh, my. And then we need jungle drums, that's for certain. And we're just going to go straight into the spike factory. I think I think that's the move. Because the only thing would be jungle's bounty, which would be awesome. That's 5k. I mean, can we do it? Maybe. All right, well, if there's one guy who likes testing the limits of money, it's me. So uh, let's do it. YOLO. <laughs> and then we'll get the spike storm. And hopefully that'll be the combination we need. Because think about it, right? We got the big plane here flying through the skies, doing all the damage. Then if we get the spike storm with the carpet of spikes, maybe not that, that's expensive, but the spike storm, oh yeah, covering the map, just deleting all the other balloons, oh, it's going to be good. And the other thing is, if we get jungle's bounty, not only will we be making some good money, but we might be able to get spirit of the forest, you know, with the vines all over the track, we'll have, between that and the spike factory, two things that cover all the tracks, and with the global damage we got from the plane, might actually be doable. Okay, pick up the jungle's bounty. Perfect. Link up a tech bot for there. And now at least we have some form of income. <laughs> oh, this really won't fit in range of the brew and the hut. Well, I suppose we just got to put it down. This has got to be one of the most craziest things I've done for like changing up strategies midway through buy, sell. We're going to grab another tech bot. Yes, yes, yes. Link it up. And I suppose, yeah, we just let it go on repeat. There's no reason to hold the ability, really. Just let it do its thing. Now, the other interesting thing is this is actually a tier four. So we could, in theory, just build another one of these and have it up at the top, which would be really helpful. So let's get another tech bot. And I think that's what we're going to do. And then grab a last one for, like, spiked mines just here in the middle. Okay, boom. Link it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get another one here. And this will go middle path. And since we have more damage on this bottom track anyway, it's fine to put it one more higher here. All right, round 80, the big watermelon. Oh my goodness, juicy, juicy. And look at that, we've done it. The monkey star. Oh my goodness, give it a like, you gotta. And wow, that's gotta be one of the craziest, like, weirdest things I've done in quite some time. And I do some pretty strange things. Normally, we'd go to around 100 here, but I, I can't stand any more of this. That's That's gotta be it. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and click the video on the left if you want to see why you shouldn't use super monkeys on the new hot spring map. Oh yeah, don't, don't do it. Or click the playlist on the right if you want to see some of my handpicked favorite videos by me for you. Until next time guys, I'm Nerves, peace out.